So it was the beginning of my fourth week in the verse, and by now there were quite a lot of people watching my videos on Star Citizen. And again, I would like to thank all of you so much for continuing to tune in to my adventures. But then we were contacted by a content creator Will and I are both big fans of, as I know many elite commanders are, and he offered to send us a very generous and substantial gift in-game. I am talking, of course, about Hawks Gaming, creator of outstanding guides and reviews, and streams to both Elite Dangerous and Star Citizen. And so we arranged to meet at the new Babbage spaceport on Microattack for me to experience an enormous ship gifted to us by Hawks. Do you think there'll be a... I've heard it mentioned that there, there could be a wipe before the next patch. Do you think that's likely? No, no, not yet. It won't be until uh, iCash and server meshing come together. That's when they'll do it. Yeah. They'll for sure do it then. Oh my god, okay, I've just found uh, this plushy shop that everyone keeps telling me about. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna buy one of these. <laughs> you can buy them, like, they're like plushies that you can buy. Aww. I'm buying one. Oh, yeah, they are cute, dude. Okay, okay, so this is amazing. This is a, like a mind blown live moment, I guess. Look at this. You actually hold it and everything. I can't believe I've never seen this before. That's all. I've, I've walked through here a bunch of times. And... New Babbage is one of the best vistas in all of Stanton. And while the spaceport is essentially an airport, whiling away the time with this view is a real treat. On top of Hawks coming down right now, you've got that sunset, like just coming into fruition, sunrise rather, just coming into fruition now. That. Coming in right behind Hawk. Nice. Yeah, I came through the clouds and then suddenly just my whole windshield got hit with water. Now that is awesome. Right, yeah, yeah. Just all the rain hit me at once. See, they don't have that. And so we were heading for one of the larger hangars of the spaceport. Oh, and I am recording now, just so everyone knows. If anyone wanted to say something not safe for work, yeah, you missed a chance. <laughs> wow. Oh wow, it's like we're all getting here at the same time. The ship in question is the Anvil Kara, an exploration vessel that can still pack a punch in a fight, and its sheer scale immediately hits you upon entering the hangar. Whoa, okay. This is, en this is engine side, okay. Yeah, the ship is ridiculous how big it is. Go stand by the landing gear and you'll feel truly small. <laughs> the landing gear is like... Foot is like the width of two trucks. Like the <laughs> length of two trucks. The ship is so large within the hangar it can easily be mistaken for part of the environment. And Star Citizen is a way of capturing the scale in all its glory. Though I was curious about how it compares to those of Elite Dangerous. Like it's shocking. Honestly. Like scale. But how big is this like in comparison to something from Eddie Dangerous, say, Anaconda or uh, something like that. So, um, an Anaconda is a, an 890 jump is about the same size as that. So this ship is a bit smaller um, than an Anaconda, but not much smaller. It's okay, I got it. I got it. Got this. They want to back up. Oh, damn, look at that. And it even extends out, which is really cool. Yeah. The size of it. Look at the size of this ramp. What can you fit in this? Um... A lot of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose so, yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Here we go. This is the good stuff. Wow. Command station. Okay, let's take a look at this. Can you fly the ship from here? Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna bring her out. Oh yeah. You guys are in your turrets. I'll be science officer. We all stand here. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's called the support seat. I don't really think I have a turret from it. I don't know what actually you do. Yeah, maybe like just managing systems and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, that's the room. Yeah, we are in... This is a tight squeeze. Oh, man. Very gently bring it out, because... 
our EM rating is 200,000. <laughs> 90 now, but still it's... Bringing the gear out. Oh my god. We're detectable up to really far fucking away. <laughs> Oh yeah, there she goes. Wow. I, it's funny, I never realised how much I wanted this until now. But this is like a proper like Star Trek type ship. You know, like an actual giant ship where you've got a crew yeah. and everything. Wow. Which officer are you, Moi? You're like you're like the the um, engineering officer, right? Sure, I could be in comms, you know. That's fine. yeah. Engineer with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 315 is the big one when this ship will be glorious. That's when um, the medical gameplay will be coming in fully. It's a it's a proper giant goddamn spaceship. Oh yeah, it's a fucking ship. Yeah. I'm gonna go take a look around. I'm gonna go now that the power's on. I'm gonna go take a look back here as well. I'm letting you explore this. I don't want to lead you around. This is, you know, first time experiences. <laughs> come and look at my office, boy. Come and check this out. This is so goddamn cool. Let me get into my captain's chair. Yeah, it's like Captain Picard's ready room. Basically. Yeah, yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. Come. Totally. There is a kind of bug right now that prevents sitting in this chair. Got your little teddy bear back here. But adjoining the captain's ready room, there was quarters and also a private bathroom. Right. They definitely knew I was coming aboard. Look at all the alcohol they brought. Look at this. We've got some sort of table here. Still on the habitation deck and down the hall is a game room and crew quarters. Ah, oh, no interaction though. No. Not yet, anyway. I've been on the um, Star Runner. The Mercury Star Runner, oh, where you got to get the game of chess. Yeah. I would love to play pool in this game. This is an interesting pool table, though. Yeah, the shape, yeah. <laughs> yeah these showers are cool back here, by the way. This is, a, this is an amazing little habitation room. Wow. Wait, the showers. <laughs> yeah. And there's a towel hanging up outside. That's incredible. I can find any button. <laughs> Like that, Let's take a look. Ah, these are got stools as well. Amazing. It's a proper toilet too. It's not like a shower toilet as we've seen. Yeah. In many ships, yeah. I, I can't Jesus, that is a big sink. Oh my God, look at the length of the I sink. I know it's ridiculous, right? It's ridiculous. <laughs> it and across the hall, there is a very detailed and cozy galley for us to enjoy as a crew. With bamboozle already making herself at home. Come and check check out the view. That's what I love about this game is the ship interiors and the shenanigans you get into on the way there in your ship interiors with your friends. They sell the experience. Like they one hundred percent sell the experience. Because yeah, I've, I've been I've been places with people in the dangerous on big adventures and stuff, but even in VR actually doing it, it still feels very video gamey. Like this yeah. is really goddamn immersive, you know? Where oh, yeah. you're spending time aboard the ship, in the ship, walking around the ship. I know Frontier thinks they wouldn't have gameplay, but yeah. I couldn't imagine going back to a game that doesn't have this now. Yeah, and I've spent more time playing with my friends inside ship interiors than outside of them, <laughs> I think, in this game. Wouldn't you get bored of the ship interiors, though? Like, Well, I mean, I go out into the world, but it's just the shenanigans you get into on the way there with all your friends in the same ship. <laughs> you know, Dark sometimes we kill each other and blow up the ship on accident. It just happens. Just come up here, right? Come up here, Moi. Stand mm -hmm. like somewhere by here and just get a look at the view you get with the the commander in front there and like that is spectacular, isn't it? This literally feels like an actual starship. Now, all the places we just looked at were all on the habitation deck, and the ship has four decks. 
It also has a working hangar for smaller ships on the higher deck and it'll be heading there next. Coming up to the hangar, um, Bamboozle, because you've, you've just sold me on it you know, to make me curious. Coming out. I would arrive to find the hangar door already open. Ooh, okay, okay, coming out. Outfit's back. Woo! Oh, that's cool. I have never done this before. This is cool. So it looks more at the planet. Woo! <laughs> well, yeah. Give us a give us a roll, like a three sixty roll. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, that was awesome. There's an, uh, another axis up there we can go out of. Oh, yeah. God, okay. Okay, this is genuinely terrifying, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, you roll the dice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> does this one go up? Yes, it does. It was Kyle talking about the yeah. yeah. It's the engines. Airlock, okay, here we go. Yeah. You're venting gas in your too, so ship's taking damage. Okay. Here we go, airlock time. Oh god. Oh god, you just disappeared. <laughs> oh my god, help! <laughs> it was like, I'm, it was like, just, die. it was so instant. It was so, so instant. Have you guys, yeah. Oh god. You see, I see you, by the way. I didn't though. Yeah, we got blown into space like 10 kilometers back like instantly. <laughs> you want me to come back and pick you up? So the problem here is that we are caught within Microtech's gravity. We are in free fall and the Carrack is an extremely sluggish ship for maneuvering. We are definitely fast. gaining on them. Gaining but there's... Way too fast. You're correct. I want to watch it happen. I'm going to look right at the ship as it comes Thank to you. Oh yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> it's gonna wing by you. <laughs> wow, Three, two, yeah, you are one. calling us. Jesus Christ! Oh, you're gonna miss me. I'm, I'm alive. Look at. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm well, not trying to cool. hit you. That's the thing. Okay, so what you gonna do? Is come down now. Yeah, I know. Oh. Is, you, you don't know what I'm dealing with though. This thing is not easy, and the engines are overheating. So. Okay, and you're gonna have to pitch down a bit, yeah, because. Oh, I'm about to fall back. But you, I mean that, Bye. you're doing great, you're doing great. Bye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, just missed you. Alright, hold on. It's okay, it's okay. So just nice and slow. Better, okay, alright, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so close to hit me. Alright, now, now break, 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 break. Oh wow, this is cool Now, watch. now, now ascend. Now ascend, and then stop ascending. Alright, let me do a stand still. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna have a full pass. It's hard to see, you know. Considering the ship, Morty had done extremely well to get even this close, but we were not going to be rescued today. You were so close! <laughs> yeah. That is the, the, like, Star Trek experience right there. I had set my ICU on the ship and so spawned there, but we returned to the spaceport to collect corks and we were on our way. Look at the mountains and the trees. I don't believe I have any med sticks at all. Let's step out here. You got so a you got better. a view from you got a view like no other, right? From this. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. You you can look up and yeah, wow. We were heading back to Hurston to meet up with some more citizens and take this thing out for some action. Oh, there you are. Oh my god. The thing is huge. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I can't see it. And it has inertia. We're going to right now. It has a lot of inertia. Uh -huh. God damn. That's a big yeah. ship. Wow. I love these side doors on the Cutlass. I love them. Yeah, I'm. You'll be able to see that ship entering the stage, uh, yeah. hangar in just a sec. Okay, let's try and break, let's break, 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 break. <laughs> ah, okay. We are going to break by just tapping that window with the guys there in the control room let's just watching on. <laughs> they don't look shocked. I think they've seen this happen before. <laughs>
Our stay would be short. We were here to collect a few skunks and a few of Hawk's friends, and we would soon be getting a taste of what multi-crew gameplay really should be. The plan was to hunt down some bounties around Hurston's moons. The pilot has no weapons on the carrack, so I would be all about the manoeuvring. Yeah, that's what I'm in contact. This man is getting close. Okay, I'm gonna try and... Yeah, I'm trying to draw him back. You know, yeah, I, like, I think he sees me, but... We have like three forward facing turrets along with the main guns. Okay, he's yeah. coming in now. Oh! Engaging. The inertia, though, would take some getting well, used to. Oh, this is probably going to win badly. Oh, no, we got it. Range. Range. Here we go, I got, I got firing range. On. Okay. Let me know what arcs you need, guys. Right here is fine. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, he's so gone. Yeah, he's in trouble. Yeah, I got him. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. Amazing. Uh, which door is open? Uh, the, if you look on the, the roof, there's like a, a open uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> like part of it. Ow! I, think <laughs> I watched him. I saw that. I watched him squat <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> this one looks a lot more Here we go. That was so cool to watch happen in person. No loading screens is amazing. To the lower deck, maybe we can find some too. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that was close down hitting down me. Yeah, sorry. You got this. Yeah. I badly misjudged this approach. Wow. That was awesome. Flight profile. I know. Oh. I just hit asteroid. Oh my god. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Never tell Katie the odds. Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we may see him. Wait, we have, you can scan in this game? I have I have an HRT available. Firing. Firing. Oh, he is. Every single hit. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for this guy. Oh, yeah. okay. oh my god. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> These guns are huge, the ones that shoot slower, man, than you hell with him. I'm in danger. <laughs> it's it feels like multi-crew. Yes, this, this is how multi-crew should be done, yeah. Oh, whoa, close target, close target. Yeah. Yep. You got him. Ball gunners on three. Uh, oh, heads. Yes. Ooh, whoa. Nice. He's down. Nice. I feel oh, bad for this guy. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right. okay, I'm switching oh, oh. to the upper control deck. Be with me. I'll be able to have better visibility for you guys there. At the bridge. Look at that. hooks there. Wow. Wait, is that her control you got yeah, there, hooks? Yeah. I think it is. Amazing. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, back in the back of control. The Karak may be listed as an explorer, but with strong shields. Three man turrets and a remote turret. The ship has serious firepower too. On the guy on the right here. Right, right. Okay, you can help me on the guy on the left. <laughs> okay, okay, now we have. Hitch left a bit more. There we go. Yeah, you got him. Good work, guys. Good work. We don't care about no overheating. Boom. Oh man, I just broke that. <laughs> Oh, oh, Ramus corpse. And I would get some time in one of the ball turrets too. Just but... sit oh my out. god, look at that, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the two side turrets extend out from the ship body when manned, giving a pretty generous amount of rotation and field of fire. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh, man, he's getting Talk cracked. Him. Can't get the angle on him. Got him, Morty? Yeah, I'm Ooh, just, just outside of... Oh, here we go, he's oh, in. Oh, let's go. Oh, he's so alive. Yeah, there he's like one shot. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, got to shoot once and got it. I don't know. Nice. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, there are. We can't shoot the blues. There's a guy. Oh, what the? Black, Black 86. Be really careful. Yeah, because we might actually get prime stats doing this if there's other ships here. So yeah. yeah. Are you in a turret now, Katie? I am in a turret, yeah. Uh, right side. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it's on now. This is one of those. Uh, no, you guys have fought. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Me and me and I've already taken out with like an arrow and a hornet. 
Alright. Fighting Hammerhead is similar to fighting Thargoids, just orbit them. Yep. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, they... I'll take my sinews. Okay, so we're going Keep it in. Can't get a lock on him. It's a hammerhead. Yeah, it is. No. Keep it up, pilot. I'm getting good hits. Yeah. Collision. Whoa! Ooh, ooh. Yeah. The shield in front of no, me is getting hit. I can't even get a warning. I'm I down. think still looking shit. Whoa! Oh. No, I'm just gonna start holding. Hi. I think we took yeah. down the side shields. Yeah. See ya. Okay. Damn. Okay. That was awesome. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. Small oh, yeah. target. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who bold this? Engaging. Engaging. Yep. Taking shots. Wow. I don't. Um. Oh, that was a that was a Vanguard. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. Man, whoa, he's gone. beautiful. And <laughs> yeah, you guys are wrecking it in the car. Stock one as well. Look. This one's way better than I expected. We've scratched. Yeah, stock We've scratched the paint a little though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it had been an amazing day out crewing the Carrack, and I must again give a massive thanks to Hawks for his amazing generosity and for joining us on this adventure. I am certain you'll be seeing this extremely impressive ship many more times in future too, as it really does offer the experience of something like Star Trek with a full crew needed to make it work, and the space and facilities inside to accommodate them. I would like as always to thank all of you for watching, and I have something else special coming up in response to your feedback from the last video, just to show you guys that I really do take your advice on board. I would also like to extend a very special thank you to Mark Turner and River and Warder for helping to support this series over on Patreon. You guys are amazing, and I thank you very much for your generosity. We'll be back in the week, with a second adventure with Hawks Gaming, and I can't wait to share it with you guys.